What are the things you can do when you're in fear, when stress is kicking in? For that, let's understand that when you're in stress, you're looking outward. You're focused on your outer environment as an animal to check whether you're safe or not. And when you're looking outward, you're not looking inward. We're told to stay inside for a reason, to also look inside, not just stay inside. So when you're focused outward, there are tons of things that you, you cannot do. Why? Because you have to survive. You're activating your sympathetic nervous system, your stress response, your fight and flight mode is activated, so you're there. Okay, I'm collecting information and I have to survive right now. What's happening when you're stressed? Your body is shutting down all the useless functions in order for you to stay alive, to focus on staying alive. So when you're stressed, not specifically now, but in general when you're stressed, you're there, you know what, I'm not going to eat tonight, I'm not hungry. Why? Oh, I had this bad news, I, I, can't, I can't relax, I can't eat. Why you didn't sleep? Oh, I can't sleep, I had this big deadline, I have this news coming in my head, I just, I just, can't, I just can't sleep. I've been in the toilet in a few days, can't digest. I don't feel like making love. I, there's no way I'm going to smile. Why, why, you know, you, I see everything being negative. Those are all autonomic reaction of the body, shutting down all those useless functions in order for you to stay alive. Yeah? So that's exactly what the body needs right now. The body needs to, for you to stay focused, stay alive. We will digest later making love, eating, all these things can wait. No time for fun, stay alive. So, now we understand that when stress is kicking in, you can hack your body. You can hack your body by consciously, consciously, even if you don't want to, do all the things the body is not supposed to do. I love doing that every day when I get into an ice bath or when I'm doing cold shower if I don't have an ice bath because then I get to practice it. I create a stress and then when I'm in that stress, I get to physically train myself to handle it. When I get into the ice bath, it looks like that. Mouth breathing, trying to get as much oxygen as possible. Doesn't work, by the way. And then I'm panting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all the opposite things. Why am I saying that? Because when you're getting stressed, you're going to do exactly the same. First, you focus on your nose breathing. And you focus and you only do nose breathing. And you slow it down. Then I'm going to send a signal to the body, hey, let's eat. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to swallow. So I'm in the eyes and I do movement of the throat. I'm going to do movement of the belly, mimicking that I'm digesting, sending the signal to the body, hey, food is getting inside, should be okay, should not be so much stress. And then I'm going to tell my body, hey, time to be in love. Of course it's not the case, so how do you do that? You flicker your eyelids. You know, you see that in cartoons for a reason. And then you're going to do all the things that are relaxing activities. You can, you know, move your fingers, move your toes. By the way, all these hacks are from, uh, I've been conceptualized and put in beautiful cartoon. I put all the links in the post by Dr. Mark Cohen. Uh, and he's, uh, we're going to lead a retreat together very soon, end of June. But those are really practical things you can do. You can start whistling or singing. Why? Because what's happening? when I sing or when I whistle, I prolong an exhale. La. Beautiful, isn't it? I'm prolonging the exhale. Exhale, parasympathetic nervous system. The more you're going to sing, the more you're going to whistle, the more you're going to slow down the exhale, the more you are into parasympathetic, the more you're calming the body. Yeah? So there are tons of things you can do. Yawn. Ah. You're not going to you know, send a signal to the body. Ah, time to go to bed when you're stressed. So faking it, whenever you're in that stress mode, will get you an edge on the situation. These are simple hacks you can do all the time. But the way to become good at it is by training at it. 
If you train every day when you take your cold shower or your cold bath, or you're prolonging your, your breath hold by doing this simple hack, then when the stress kicks in, you know what to do. You've been training for it. All right, guys, hope that helps. Have a great day.